Today we're going to take these two high-end tables that I got for $38 from Amazon, put them together and make a console table out of them with a mural. As you can see, I paid $14.99 for it from DD East, and this is it. And I'm going to use it to make my console table. I have the mirror. Laying on this long card board that I, my husband got. Came with his whiteboard. He had two of them, which worked out perfect for me to give my mirror a base. Because the mirror does not have a base. It's just like the Walmart mirror. The, the innocent, it's got this little frame. And then in the back of it, in the back of this mirror, let me show you. It does not have a base. And from here to here is where the console, and the end tables, the two high end tables that I put together is going to go. I had marked it on here, but I noticed that. When I put them on here, the part they meet comes here, it gives in and it rocks. It doesn't touch all the way. So I decided to go ahead and put me in a whole long base with this cardboard, cutting out this board to fit as a base under this mirror. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I think I got it. I'm going to glue it to the back of this mirror. See how the limb of this mirror? I'm going to tap it over so I can get that one piece of detach on the back. This all cut out. Put this over. Make sure. Put this thing to paper, wood. Is my table, and I'm gonna put this equipment on the table. Okay, I'm gonna take my table and I'm gonna place it upside down on the mirror where I want it to this the mirror bring it up put my little nail on this and I'm going to place it down on top of the mirror there. I'm going to let all this dry together 
at the fashion of the cups. This diamond bling wrap from Dollar Tree. Five dollar for six feet of it. And I'm gonna put it around the little lace right here. I'm gonna use the E6000. For the cardboard, I'm gonna use the hot glue. For well glue. Round on the edges of this part of the mirror. Very strong, it has a very strong odor. What I'm gonna do is just put a lot of glue. E6000 on this vanilla lace part. that came with the um, high-end tables that I used to make my console table. I'm gonna, I, they are brown. They, they, they look folded basket, they're cloth. I'm gonna try to cut out some cardboard. I'm gonna put them decoupage, then I'm gonna add this. Now, I'm gonna take my Mod Podge which is glossy, highly glossy, this one is, and seal it with it. So I'm going to put this on first. So, I'm trying to make sure I have a lot so that it sticks real well. I'm using a box so it can touch the excess and I can just pull it back in. I covered it. And then I'm seeing what sticks. I just found out that the mirror contact paper sticks to this fabric real well and it even folds back down with it and it comes back out perfect. So instead of putting glass all around this little drawer, fabric drawer, I'm going to just put mirror on the front and I'm going to put the mirror contact paper size in the back and I'm going to just put the mirror cut glass on the front. So Fabric drawers. So now I'm going to add some Mod Podge, which this is a highly glossy Mod Podge, on top to help seal it. And I'm going to put a lot on it so that the glass will stay and not be chipping off. So as you can can't hardly see it because it's very clear and it's going to be very, very glossy color Mod Podge. So, because I got the high gloss. So, 
you kind of see it. It's kind of look jelly like, like a gel. And it's kind of cloudy a little bit. So I'm going to put this all on top of both of these. And I'm really saturating. I mean, a lot. It's going to take it a long time to dry. Probably a day or two. So this little mirror glass need to be sealed on. Use it if you use it. Okay. So I can't let it sit here on this board and dry because if I do, because I put it all around the side, it will stick. So I'm going to look that and I'm going to use this shiny paper that came from off the back of the um, mirror contact paper underneath hoping that it won't stick to it there okay I'm back with these the, this is my scissor it's all dry this is my this is my facing it's all dry ready to be assembled to the front of my little drawer that goes on the console table. So what we're going to do is glue it on. Not glue it on. So I'm going to start with gluing. Putting hot glue to the bottom to the wrong side of the cardboard. And then place it. Trim this down. Scissors. My, I'm going to use my Z see where my Zyco knife work better than the scissors. So I'm going to try trimming the contact mirror paper off down to the, lay it up against the edge of the contact paper. Trying to lay it up close to the box or uh, part that I make for my front so I can get a good cut. The cut does not work and I might have to try my scissors. But it's working. So I laid it up to the very edge of the front part I put on. And I'm using the Zecto knife to trim down the excess mirror contact paper off the edge. I left it a little over when I applied it on the little box uh, draw. It's like a little box from I meant draw. And I left it a little over because I wanted to meet the con meet the meet the, the little front cover that I made out of the cardboard and the mirror cut glass. That's this probably can't see it. It's very clear. Mod Pods there. You could just take the scissors and Trim that down. So it's just, it's just like when I'm going in, it is adding more hot glue down in here to seal the top. The white knob. It was came with my daughter furniture, but I changed it out and gave her crystal knob. So what I did, I took it outside and I spray painted it silver. Then 
I set it between them two little things and hard to hold it up. And I added little cut glass on it. And I sealed it with the model. You find your little hole that you have right here. And you're going to make a little hole to go through it. And you're just going to put this in. This is glass, so be careful with that. But the um, Mod Podge sealing it makes it smooth, smooth and it not work perfect. As you see, it goes in. We have that little part hanging out there. So what you're gonna go do is hot glue this all the way around and hot glue this all the way around in here. And then you have your little drawer. It's the little drawer. Instead of being brown, you use the contact paper to do around the, all around the three sides and then you make the front out of cardboard, mirror cut glass, and sealed it together. And it works beautiful. And make a cute little decorative drawer. Now, I have two picture frames I got from Dollar Tree. They had, well, actually they was mirrors, but eight, eight by 10. And the dollar piece, I use the mirrors for some, another project, and so I just keep the frame. And what I'm doing, I'm gluing these two frames together like this. And I'm going to put it, put them in the front of my console table. So I glue these two together like this. I took some hot glue. And I glue them together. Like this. And I spray paint. Now I'm gonna because of the glue right there where I glue them together. You probably can't see it. I put it to the cross to the glue. I'm gonna put some mirror tiles in there. And I'm putting them on the front of each. On the console table in front of each one of that holes the little in high-end table that we decorated and added to make the mirror contact mirror face we're gonna add these to the front of it to give it a little wow factor because just to see the console table without them I didn't like it and so I'm gonna put a little mirror tiles down in the middle of it to decorate that I got this wrap from Amazon and what I'm doing because it's big wide I'm cutting in half to like inch pieces and That's the way this one looks. It does have a little glue on it, but it doesn't stick well, so I'm using the hot glue. But I wanted to share with you the tip, two out of the two. The one with the mirror, mosaic tile, 
Star. I may go with this one, the one with the Amazon um, bling wrap. So I'm leaning more toward this one. I don't know. For some reason, I really like this look. So I'm thinking about really leaning toward that way. And then I'm thinking that it kind of, it kind of plays well with this. And this is how this one plays with it. Plays with this one. For sure. I'm using this double-sided tape. See, it's like clear and like feel. It's sticky on one side, then have a film. Plastic film cover on the outside. I'm using it to mount the frames onto the console tape. These are the lamps that I made, lampshades that I made, the little chandelier lamps from in one of my videos. It was old lampshades I made. There's the painting that I painted. And there's the flower and vase that I put, made together. And this is the console table. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.